Okay, we're now going to demonstrate the money claim compound interest calculator tool. All right. First thing you need to do is uh, you go onto your Google and uh, you could easily do this with the uh, Google and key in money claim compound interest. All right. So the first link that you will find after the search page uh, is the compound interest calculator. So uh, let's click this and let's get into the compound interest calculator to see how it works. All right. So this is a very simple tool. Uh, you'll be able to see a very simple interface like this. All right. And so in order to figure out our compound interest calculator calculations, we will just demonstrate with a very simple uh, demonstration on what happens. All right. Suppose uh, you have a starting current capital of a typical student of around $30,000. All right. So we'll put this under current principle. And uh, annually, you are able to uh, very aggressively save all right, $2,000 every month. But th since this is an annual addition, $2,000 will become $24,000. Okay. Suppose you have 10 years to actually start planning for retirement. So you put 10 years to grow. And so the interest rate that you are likely to receive uh, when you invest in equities is going to be around 7%, all right? Uh, if you look at the STI ETF, this is a reasonable uh, return assumption, okay? And compounding will take place uh, once a year. Now, very important is that in order to be more conservative when you're planning for retirement, you have to consider making your additions at either at the start or the end of the compounding period. So we always set it to the end of the compounding period so that it will be a lot more conservative. Now, if you perform this exercise and you do that, uh, you will know that at the end of 10 years, you will have about $390,000, $609, okay? So uh, therein lies uh, the use of the compound interest calculator, and uh, that is the end of our demonstration.